The doctrine of the Trinity is a central tenet of Christian theology, encapsulating the complex and profound nature of God as understood within mainstream Christianity. This doctrine articulates the belief that God exists as three distinct, co-eternal persons, the Father, the Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit, who are united in one divine essence. The Trinity is not a simple concept to grasp, it challenges our human understanding and invites us into a deeper contemplation of the divine mystery. At its core, the doctrine of the Trinity affirms that there is one God in three persons. This is not to suggest that there are three gods, nor that the one God merely appears in three different forms. Rather, each person of the Trinity is fully and completely God, sharing the same divine nature, yet distinct in personhood. The Father is not the Son, the Son is not the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit is not the Father. Each is God, whole and entire, yet there is only one God. The roots of the Trinity doctrine are found in the scriptures, where the unique relationships between the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit are outlined. In the New Testament, Jesus speaks of the Father who sent him, John 8 verse 42, and he promises the coming of the Holy Spirit, John 14 verse 26. The Great Commission in Matthew 28 verse 19 instructs baptism in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, reflecting early Christian understanding of the triune nature of God. Historically, the formal articulation of the Trinity evolved through the early ecumenical councils of the Church, particularly the First Council of Nicaea in 325 AD and the First Council of Constantinople in 381 AD. These councils were convened to address controversies surrounding the nature of Christ and his relationship to the Father. The Nicene Creed, a product of these councils, is a statement of faith that explicitly affirms the divinity of Jesus and introduces the language of one essence, homoousios, to describe the relationship between the Father and the Son. Theologically, the Trinity is significant because it shapes Christian understanding of God's nature and his relationship with the world. It speaks to a God who is relational and dynamic. The doctrine underscores that the same God who created the universe, the Father, entered into human history as Jesus of Nazareth, the Son, and continues to be active in the world through the Holy Spirit. This relational aspect of the Trinity emphasizes God's transcendent nature and His imminent presence in the lives of believers. In practical terms, the Trinity enriches Christian worship and prayer. It provides a framework for understanding how Christians can experience God's grace and love through different dimensions. For example, Christians may pray to the Father, through the Son, in the power of the Holy Spirit. This reflects the distinctive roles yet unity of the Godhead. In conclusion, the doctrine of the Trinity is more than a theological abstract, it is a vibrant and vital part of Christian faith. While it presents intellectual challenges, it also offers a rich and rewarding vision of the nature of God, inviting believers into a deep, ongoing relationship with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. As a mystery of faith, the Trinity reminds us that God is ultimately beyond all human understanding, yet intimately involved with His creation.